guys, mabuhay and welcome to our YouTube channel, Planting with Epic Grace. Another day, another plant to learn and discuss. Ito na naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay na nagsasabing, tara, kwentuhan tayo. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. I hope you're doing fine this time of pandemic. Today we're going to have a plant that is quite common to us. Siguro makikita natin ito sa ating mga backyard garden or minsan along the road. So this is what we call now as the Homalumena rubicens. Okay? So rubicens. So it is also known as the Homolema magi or magi shield plant, queen of hearts, and tinatawag siya sa Tagalog na alipayo or payaw. Now, this particular plant is an origin of Asia or native in Asia. Kaya yung ating mga ating bansa or, ating, uh, or yung ibang mga bansa have this particular plant also. This is widely distributed also sa Pilipinas. Okay. Kaya maganda siyang addition sa ating garden or indoor plants. Now, why is that? Since it's quite common, madali siyang, or it is well adapted to our environment. Now, this particular evergreen plant is a perennial tropical plant. Pag sinabi natin perennial tropical plants, all throughout the year, nagbibigay siya sa atin ng foliage. And may bonus yan. So, pwede siya magbigay ng magandang flower. So, this particular plant is known for its uh, leaves uh, na heart shape, na glossy green. Okay? So, this glossy foliage is actually madaling alagaan at saka medyo resistant sila sa pests and diseases. The stems are red and slender as you can see. So, red yung kanyang, uh, kanyang stem at saka um, uh, slender din siya. So, the height of this particular plant can reach up to 1.3 meters at saka yung kanyang um, spread could be 1 meter also. So, um, the leaves has the tatawag natin yung kanyang mga mid ribs at saka yung kanyang mga base na light red. So if we're going to look into also doon sa kanyang young leaves so medyo para siyang light red ng konti. Okay. So this light red turns into glossy green once it matures into an adult type of leaves. So the leaves also develop from the actual region of the plant. So, ibig sabihin, doon sa kanyang pinaka-center, kung saan doon lagi tumutubo yung ating mga younger leaves. So, one question here is that, how to grow uh, Homa Lumena or Maggi? So, the main requirements for this particular plant is a well-drained potting mix or soil, warm and uh, warm uh, environment with uh, humidity, and indirect light. So that's why it is quite ideal para sa ating mga indoor plant or if you wish to put this one in our in your atriums, well maganda siyang addition. Okay. So at saka hindi siya masyadong kailangan siguro ng mga ng ng sikat na araw. So, uh, let's proceed now with the soil. So if you're able to notice, ito yung aking purchase na Homalumena. Ang ginagamit nila dito kasi is the garden soil. So so let's try to have this one. So I have here uh, the pot. So this is actually the pot that ginamit, ginamit na um, paglagay ng akin mga soil. So this one will be used primarily for this what for this uh, hemalumena. No, bakit ganito kalaki? Kasi dumadami kasi siya. Or nakakaroon siya ng mga tinatawag nating mga babies or pops doon sa kanyang bottom. So I will be using this one first. Okay? So, the potting mix that I'm going to use, syempre, medyo dadagdagan ko lang siya ng konti. So, it is actually a mix of yung ating rice hull, kasama na rin dyan yung tinatawag nating mga uh, konting mga cocoa fire. Now, why do we have to put this one? Kasi nga, uh, one of the main requirements of this particular plant is a light, loamy, and well-drained fertile 
medyo siguro acidic soil. Now, uh, paano naman nag-meet dito sa ating ginagamit na soil mix? Kasi, uh, as you can see, meron siya mga partially decomposed material which makes the soil partially acidic. Now, it is like, kasi nga, we are using here rice hull. Tapos, meron siyang mix ng ating tinatawag na um, yung ating loam soil. So, I think this is actually the best thing. At ang pinakamagand dito, it retains primarily yung tinatawag nating moisture. Kasi importante sa ating homalunema yung ating moisture. Okay. So, I think that's it up for this one. So, ready na siguro siyang ilagay dito. So, first. Okay. So, napakaganda ng kanyang uh, build up. Now, you, uh, this one needs repotting already kasi sometimes, yung mga plant natin nag stay sa ating mga garden ay hindi na sila napapalit pa ng soil. So, pag tumagal yung ating plants, makikita natin na yung roots nila ay talagang nagdodwell dun sa kanilang bottom part. Okay. So, in this case, katulad nito ang ating homalumena. It will tell us primarily na itong ating homalumena ay matanda na doon sa ating sa ating greenery. Kasi kita nyo yung mga roots niya na doon na sa bottom. So, kailangan na talaga siya ng repotting para mas dumami siya at mas lumaki. So, I will not remove any uh, any part of the soil dito sa ating homalumena. We're just going to add up some. Okay. So, I think that will be the best addition to this one. Oh, by the way, um, you have to make sure na this particular homalunema will not sit on water. Bakit? Kasi meron siyang tinatawag na just enough moisture. Uh, kasi um, we have to check also yung kanyang, kanyang, kanyang yung hole ng plant. Kasi ayun naman natin malunod yung ating plants in this, in, uh, para hindi siya uh, magkaroon ng root rot or anything else. Okay. So, next. Now, sometimes we, we love to water our plants. Sabi natin, oh, this homalinema is actually uh, para naman siyang gabi. Well, we, know, we all know that gabi or taro is actually love water. Homalinema is not. Kasi nga, pag ang ating um, ang ating homalinoma ay natubigan ng marami, the tendency for this particular plant is to promote or is to develop root rot o yung pagkabulok ng kanyang mga kanyang mga uh, ugat. And we don't want to do to happen on that on this particular plant. Sayang kasi yung halaman. And then ano ba yung mga indicator na magkakaroon tayo ng problema or natawag nating overwater yung ating plant? Well, I'll show you a little while. If you're, if you're able to notice yung ating, itong plant na to, itong ating homalinema, I would, say, I would say na siya ay meron ng problema in terms of the overwatering. Why? Paano ko nasabi yun? Kasi, if you're able to notice yung kanyang leaves, meron na siyang spot ng yellow. Pag nagkakaroon kasi, pag nagkakaroon kasi ng spot ng gray or gray spot yung ating leaves, it means na overwater yung ating homalunema. And it's not good. Kaya nga, um, if in this particular plant, I will not water it for a while. Para magkaroon siya or medyo madry up yung kanyang soil. Okay, remember that too much water, again, will promote root rot. And, uh, hindi maganda sa halaman. So, the spots on the leaves are brown. Uh, yung mga brown na yan, that means it is overwatered. Now, uh, you might be able also to notice na how about yung mga apex, ito mga apex na to, na sabi natin. So, at, at least this one, hindi pa siguro, uh, or hinado pala, malapit pa lamang sa overwater. Kasi another indication of being overwater ng ating halaman is pag yung ating apex or yung tips ng ating dahon ay nagba-brownish in color na rin. Okay? Nagba-brownish in color na rin. It means overwater na rin yung ating plants, yung ating homalunema. Okay. And usually, madalas mangyari yan pag medyo mahal na mahal natin yung plants natin. Kaya, lagi natin dinidiligan, everyday, kahit na medyo basa pa yung soil, eh, yung ating potting mix ay, it retains moisture doon sa ating halaman. Well, um, hindi maganda na na pag nakita natin na yung halaman natin ay medyo moist, may moist pa, 
ay didiligat ulit natin. So, hindi maganda yun. Okay. The next one. So, we have now the light. Okay. So, the light, uh, this is actually best for uh, yung mga bright light areas only. So, pwede siya ilagay doon, syempre, doon sa mga sources natin na malapit sa window. And, um, siguro, yung mga medium or indirect light. So, maganda siyang ilagay doon. So, especially during the time na siya ay lumalaki. Okay. Kasi kailangan niya talaga ng maraming build up ng uh, nutrients and uh, photosynthesis para siya ay lumaki. Now, um, pero pwede naman siyang mag magsusurvive naman siya pag inilagay mo siya sa low light conditions. But the problem with that is, hindi siya mabilis lumaki. So, nagiging stagnant yung kanyang growth or slow growth rate yung kanyang, uh, yung mangyayari sa plants. Now, um, sometimes, these plants uh, experience also yung tinatawag nating uh, etulation. Ano yung etulation? Yung paghaba ng dahon, kasi ay, paghaba ng stem, kasi hinahanap niya yung source ng light. Okay? Yung source ng light. And, um, mas maganda kung if you're going to put this one sa pots, you have to move it dun sa, sa, sa bahay natin para makita natin yung best uh, position kung saan siya pwedeng ilagay. At saka, maging uniform yung kanyang pag, uh, siguro paglaki or yung pag kanyang pag -grow. So, temperature and humidity. This one requires warm and humid environment. Now, um, pag ito ay kiulang ng tubig, the tendency of this particular plant is uh, medyo mag maging, maging brown yung kanyang foliage until it dies. So, mahalagang ma-maintain talaga yung moisture component ng ating uh, plants. Now, uh, it is also an indication ng drought, syempre. Uh, o kaya, malapit naman siya doon sa pinaka-outlet or pinaka, uh, yung, yung, pinaka, uh, yung source ng init. Tulad doon sa, sa likod ng air conditioning unit, yun. hindi maganda siya doon ilagay. So, um, fertilizers, uh, I would recommend for you to have it a slow-release fertilizer. So, tal naman, I'm not going to, to put na slow-release fertilizer this one kasi meron na siyang mga mulches and partially, de, uh, partially decomposed material. Now, in terms of the propagation, these particular plants could be propagated through cuttings of rhizomes. Kasi yung mga smaller plant dito, definitely, they will grow from the rhizome. So, pwede mo siyang i-cut and bite and then it will be transferred to another plant. Okay, so with that guys, I think we are done with our homalunema. And this will be good na malapit sa window. Okay? So, uh, again, uh, you're watching Planting and F and Grace. Please subscribe and watch. And please visit our FB page, si Maria Gracia at ang lihim na Bye!